deep cross of faith to cross that cross right now. Come on. Move your body and clap your hands. Come on, move around. Move your body and clap your hands. We're gonna give him some praise. We're gonna give him some very cast off clap. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, come on, clap your hands and move. Who is Jesus to you? It's a question that we've got to ask ourselves. Because every day we live, we have different experiences. Every day we live, we have different challenges. But the difference is, who is the Lord to you? And as a result of this, the Lord went by different names. And this is why in scripture we refer to him as Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nissi, Jehovah Shikanu, and you name it because he is to different people different things. Right. Now you've got to ask the question, who is the Lord to you? Are you with me somebody? You see, the reality is, uh, if you don't have a sickness, then you don't need a healer. Right. Are you with me, somebody? But, but, but I can tell you this, that there's somebody who needed a healer more than a provider. The Bible tells me of a man by the name of Lazarus. Somebody missed it. Uh, somebody missed it. Uh, you see, it's one thing for Jesus to appear uh, as a resurrector because uh, he said he's the resurrection uh, and the life. Uh, but you see, Lazarus uh, didn't need uh, a resurrector. Uh, Lazarus uh, needed a healer. Uh, are you with me, somebody? Uh, so let me ask the question again. Uh, who is the Lord uh, to you? Uh, because who he is to you uh, doesn't mean uh, it's who he needs to be. Uh, are you with me somebody? Uh, are you with me somebody? Uh, you see sometimes uh, we receive little uh, because uh, we have a little faith. Uh, but when we increase our faith uh, then we can uh, experience uh, greater things in God. Uh, are you with me somebody? Uh, sometimes uh, we miss out uh, on the growth that God has intended because we move too fast. Tell somebody, slow down, man. Wait, man. Wait, man. Tell somebody, say, I move too fast. You need to slow down just a bit. Have you ever been hungry and the food is being prepared? Are you with me, somebody? Come with me just a bit. Have you ever been hungry? The food is being prepared. The seasoning has gone into the pots and it's bending up just right the steam rises and the smell hits you and when you smell it you start to even lust some more after the food but the reality is it's not yet finished are you with me somebody if you are like me who sometimes you can't wait for the food finished are you with me somebody if they dump in them boil you just might get a little chiffon butter oh god are you with me somebody are you with me somebody get a little chiffon butter and get to dumping are you with me somebody my mama used to say why put back the dumpling in the pot watch this watch this don't spoil your appetite are you with me somebody because if you eat 
uh, before the food finish uh, then you will be full uh, and when it is properly prepared uh, you won't be able uh, to partake uh, of the finished product uh, are you with me somebody uh, so sometimes uh, you want things move uh, right now uh, what God is saying uh, hold on the process is present you got to learn to trust the process are you with me somebody the process is never easy the process is never pretty are you with me church when you eat some food and they lick off all your finger them and you say, my God, my God, this is a curry goat, tears good, this is a beef, tears good. And you say, you know what, me eat some, and the belly still not full, can I have some more? You see, you eat, because it's finished. But you see, the reality is, you don't know the process, because that goat had to be bolted. Somebody missed it. After the goat was brought in, then the gentleman or whosoever took care of the goat had to feed it, had to make sure that that goat was cared for. Get water, get food, get shelter. Are you with me, somebody? When that goat come of age, then they bring him to the slaughtering house. Then the goat was slaughtered. They had to skin it. Are you with me somebody? They had to skin it. Then they had to take out the inside or the intestines. They had to cut it up in different pieces. Then they had to sell it. They brought it to the markets. You went and bought it. You didn't buy it cooked. So you got to put it in the fridge. You have to seize it up. You have to cut it up. Are you with me somebody? It didn't finish in two minutes time it didn't finish in three minutes time have you been cooking something and they made it tough it reached to the point when the gas are done Lord God, Lord God, the gas done, the meat not done, process, are you with me somebody, you have to call the gas man, the gas man said he's out of town, but somebody is at home, so if you need the gas, you're gonna have to go, Lord God, to where the gas is, are you with me somebody, you might say to yourself, the journey is too far so let me just go all school you get the cool part Lord God somebody Lord God the curry goat still not on it you get the cool part and you light it up all school are you with me somebody put the curry goat on the fire it start cook again and nearly four hour pass and the food still not done are you with me somebody and after your sweat and your stress out over a piece of curry goat somebody come eat lick their finger and say give me some more somebody say process and it is that bomb that give me healing from my body healing for my mind healing for my spirit healing for my soul I've been hurt when I was a child I was abused as a child I'm walking around with some pain I'm walking around with some hurts but when the bomb the blood gets over you when the bomb gets on you it works washes you, he cleanses you, if any man be in Christ, yes, he's a new creature, I said he's a bomb, in the end, the blood is the bomb, it makes me new, it washes
washes me. He cleanses me. He heals my body. He saves my mind. He saved me just in time. There is a bomb in Gideon. Better Monday. All right, all right, all right. Somebody missed that. Somebody missed that. Me say, I wouldn't make that vow because a better man did than me. Right, let, 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 me, let me say something. My wife did one one tall man. Hold on, hold on. I know fear it tell me, I tell you, you know. God bless you, man. this man. Mister, she do one one tall man. I'm telling her, Mister, she do one man. We can't sing. So already, yes, she's a bit short, and we can't sing. So better man than me. Are, are, are you with me, somebody? Are you with me, somebody? So if the vow was until me one of the earth today. Because men, they were can't sing. And tall, brother Leighton. So the vow has to be a lasting vow without condition. So when they make a vow to the Lord, it's a vow that says irrespective of anything that comes. I don't care if your lent is not like everybody else of you. Are you with me, church? Let me show one bump on some of you. Watch this now. Some of you only believe God for certain things. Watch this now. No? Some of you, if you have a headache right now, no come and ask God for heal. The woman of God pray. Some of you right now, if you don't hear someone of diabetes, you don't pray and ask God for healing. Let me show you something. You see the blood applicable in every way. Sisters, you know, so you hear your glory. So most women don't want no shot here. Oh, watch this. They fear to make them pray for them foot. Because they have pain in them foot. Pain in their head. Sisters, get the hand with the other vial. And say, Father, in the name of Jesus, this isle represents your blood. I'm in Ergoga, Mr. Chin, Mr. Sue, and Mr. Kim. But in the name of Jesus, God, give me so lent. Give me so lent. Say, here go in a Jesus' name. Here go in that God, man. Mr. There's power in the blood. You are not a victim. And you won't be another statistic. You won't be another sister that was but is no more. Open your mouth, my dear, and say, I will stand. I will survive. I will conquer. I will win. Agree with the church. Agree with her church. Agree with her church. Say joy, come back. Say peace, come back. Say happiness, come back. Say strength, say strength, come back. Just speak it into being. Father, in the name of Jesus. As I stand with your people right now and I lay my hands upon your woman servant, I speak now and cancel every single plan. Every single plan. I cancel that upon Yes, Lord, I see it. But I can't see it right now. I see it, Lord, but I can't see it right now. It now happen. 
Send it now, Lord. The blood of Jesus. Yes, we plead the blood over you to cover you. You covered. 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 We cancel it, man. We cancel it, man. We cancel it. I said we cancel it. You shall live and not die. Lord God, sins. Mister, the Lord, show me some. I want to say what the Lord say. I want to say what the Lord show me. But we cancel it. Agree with me, the man. Mister, we cancel it. It now happen. It now happen. I say it now happen. We speak life over you now. In the name of Jesus. Take me from the mud and put me in a A class. 